dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Just do it. Some people dream of success while you're going to wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible. You should get to the point where anyone else would quit, and you're not going to stop there. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! If you're tired of starting over, stop giving up.
try to study, it's tedious, and most of the time, we don't have the energy or the motivation to do it. We don't have the drive in order to make sure that we can secure our future. And it's difficult because there are many other things that people nowadays would rather do. They'd rather be surfing Facebook, you know, talking to people on Snapchat, going out to parties, you know, anything to avoid doing the work. And I think that's a problem that today's society is. The reason we don't have so many, you know, amazing people, the fact is when we see someone who's like, oh, this guy got a 4.0 GPA, this guy got all A stars, this guy got top of his class. And we seem so shocked about it, but the reality is we shouldn't even be shocked about that kind of stuff because we as individuals can achieve that. So many people today are being average, right? And I'm not, I'm not condoning average, being average is okay. The only problem is if you're average, you're gonna earn average salary, you're gonna get average grades, your effort is average, and your commitment is average. But when life gives you a choice, my number one recommendation to you is do not take the average route. Whatever happens in your life, it's up to you. It's because of something that you did, right? Eric Thomas said, you don't make six figure salaries blaming people. And he's right. I promise you, if you could make six figure salaries blaming people for your mistakes, I would be the richest person in the world. But you can't. The only person to blame for your mistake is yourself. And that's why you need to hold yourself accountable for not doing the work. You need to hold yourself accountable for not revising enough. You need to hold yourself accountable for not putting in enough effort to get what you want. Listen, six figure salaries do not get handed to you on a silver platter. You need to work your butt off for them. For them, for them, for them, for them, for them. is purchased by the present. If you're not putting in the work now, if you're not checking up on your textbooks from time to time, in fact, not even time to time, if you're not checking your textbooks every single day, if you're not revising, if you're not going over what you've learned, if you're not making sure you are 110% on every single topic, how can you even say you deserve to earn six figure salary? So my number one tip to you guys is always, always find something to improve. I don't care if you know the entire textbook back to front.
it's exactly like Arnold Schwarzenegger said when he spoke about how he was a long-time friend with Muhammad Ali. Somebody asked Muhammad Ali, how many sit-ups do you do? He said, I don't count how many sit-ups I do, I only count them when they hurt. It doesn't happen by just saying it. If everything we wanted was given to us just by saying it, life would be boring. And as a result of that, you need to get up and you need to work. You're gonna need to make some sacrifices. Sometimes you're gonna need to turn down that party or two. Sometimes you're gonna need to say, you know what, I'm gonna leave the drinks until afterwards. Sometimes you're gonna need to say to yourself, you know what, maybe I don't wanna eat that. Maybe I need to focus on this right now. You wanna turn off the games console, you wanna turn off the TV. I don't care if Game of Thrones, Suits, or The Walking Dead's on. You switch that off and you do your work. Yeah, let me tell you why. If you don't do your work, the fact is, you can't complain. When you're pulling out C's and D's, you can't complain that you're not getting high enough grades because you're putting in a C grade or a D grade's worth of effort. Only when you've put in an A or an A star grade piece of work, an amount of effort into how much you revise, only then will you truly discover what success is. People say, you know, people are born smart. Nobody's born smart. Everyone's brain is the same. Everyone has the same two arms, two legs. Everyone's born the same. The thing is, it's whoever uses their brain in the most effective way possible. And by doing that, by continually, you know, working on your grind, continually working on your skills, continually building on who you are as a character and how you will maintain yourself in and outside the classroom, that is the way that you are going to redefine your life and if you want that six-figure salary, my friend, you better put a six-figure salary worth of work and work of, worth of effort into your life. Whenever someone tells you you should give up, do the complete opposite. Blindside them. Because the reality is you can't give them the benefit of the doubt that you want to go and you want to just give up after the first try. I mean, who, who ever succeeded giving up after the first try? Albert Einstein, when he failed his experiments, he did not just stop, he continued to keep going until he redefined physics as we know it. Mark Twain said, the two most important days in your life are the day that you are born and the day that you find out why. And if you don't study, my friends, if you don't work hard, if you don't give life 120%, you will never find out why you were born because you are too afraid to take that chance.
Emotinium 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 